tell me if I'm wrong, but guilt is one of the worst feelings you can ever experience as a human. My name is Addison, and last Sunday, I spent an overwhelming amount, 11 hours. The thumbnail wasn't like a cap. I spent 11 hours last Sunday on, I don't know, Instagram, TikTok, all the medias, all the games on my phone, and I felt insanely guilty. You're talking about bad days. That was a really bad day, and I spent 11 hours because I had genuinely more time on my phone than sleep I had for the past couple months. No wonder I felt guilty. I felt guilty breathing. I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to breathe. I didn't deserve to have a good night's sleep. And that's how I've always felt. We always tend to beat ourselves up, right? You beat yourself up when you had a bad day. And that's just the normal, the norm. But something changed that day. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna beat myself up. All right? I'm, it doesn't mean I was happy, obviously. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change in a way that after today, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna decrease the amount of my phone. I'm actually gonna take action. <laughs> so that day, I tried to look around and I decided to go for the most successful person on this planet. The most handsome looking on this planet. The most, I don't know, sold books on, okay, it looks like I'm glazing myself, but it wasn't me. I'm talking about Marcus Aurelius, right? This very well known Stoic. I don't know how his journal got onto Amazon, some translation thing, I don't know. But he was this very successful Roman Empire and I was emperor. And I was thinking, what did he do in a time of mistake? A time of turmoil, a time of, I don't know, failure. A time where your parents aren't proud of you. I think that's a personal thing. But I was thinking like, what did he do? And it was really dumb because the answer was right in front of me. In front of us, it was a journal. He kept a journal every single day, writing the things he learned and the mistakes he made. So as soon as I clocked out, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. All right, it's, it was kind of like revolutionary, uh, revolutionary. The Monday after, following that Sunday, I wrote down my morning reflection. All right, it takes about two minutes. So if you're com here complaining about time, it takes literally no time. I wrote it literally on the bus to uni. Like it wasn't that deep. I wrote down, well, you know what? I fumbled last night. Last, well, not last night, but yesterday, on that Sunday I spent 11 hours, I fumbled. I re deeply regret for those 11 hours, but I realized that I wrote solutions for it. I wrote down solutions for those 11 hours. I'm gonna stop using my phone, put on do not disturb and put it in my pocket instead of on my hand. And then I also wrote down all the mistakes I could have made that day. You know, on that Monday, I could be on my phone again. I could also not study. I wrote down all the mistakes that I learned from and all the mistakes I could have made. A very deep reflection. And then following that, I wrote morning intentions. Now, a lot of people hate to-do lists. That's completely fine. You might hate scheduling, you might hate all that organization shit because you're like, oh bro, like, why are you trying to control my life? My life isn't robotic. I, I'm not an instruction manual. I'm not a cooking, how to make a cake menu, I don't know. And it's like, relax bro. All right, morning attentions just allow you to reflect quickly that what you're supposed to do that day. What do you want to get finished? And that's literally it. It's not going to affect your life. It's not going to restrict your freedom, but it's going to stop you from feeling bad again. So then after that, uh, I walked to the gym. Okay, all of guys very, yeah. I walked to the gym and I was always walking, right? Pretend you're a pedestrian. This is exactly what I did. Pretend you're just like a person driving by I don't know, on your bike or something like ring, ring. I don't know. This is what I was doing. Genuinely, all right, I was walking by. All right, let me get out of the shot. I was like this. Bro, my life sucks right now, bro. Like, it was not even in my head. Like, I was generally speaking this out vocally. Bro, my life sucks, bro. Uh, you know, I spent 11 hours on my phone. I need to make sure I can not do that again. But how can I not do that again? I don't know, bro. Like, I was talking to myself. I was literally talking to myself like a psychotic, like a lunatic. And here you are, like, oh, why don't I do that? I'm not saying, you, okay, that doesn't make any sense, but what I'm trying to say is, why don't you try that, all right? Finally, for the first time, right? When you, usually, when you usually go to advice, oh, you go to your therapist, you go to your parents, you go to your friends, you go to your girlfriend, you go to your boyfriend, you go to your friends. They're just gonna give you advice coming from their perspective. But who knows you best? Who knows you best? Yourself. So talk to yourself. Finally, sit down with yourself I don't know, make yourself a nice cup of coffee. Go every time you're walking or something, just like talk to yourself. Be like, hey bro, these are the problems in my life. I'm gonna talk to myself. These are the solutions. It's very important we finally give ourselves some me time. And that's what greatly changed about it. 
I never had a day where it was bad and then I killed myself over it. All right, I always got over it like very quickly because I reflected myself. I knew this mistake was coming as well because I wrote it in the morning. Sometimes maybe you didn't expect it to come, but still. And that's all guys. Uh, if you want to follow my socials, that'll be great. Thank you. Uh, my Instagram and TikTok, that'll be that actually crazy if you did that. Uh, also, you know, if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe. That would be very nice. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye.